guys. It's January the 2nd, 2021, second day of this weekend. Weather's not quite as good. We've got a little overcast skies. It's a little cool outside, but it's a good day. It's not raining. It's a good day to work on the car. As you can see, I've got it uh, moved over here onto the concrete, and uh, I've got it up on my easy car lift. You can pick up one of these uh, pretty reasonably. Uh, they're, they're a great option for guys like me in a shop where you don't necessarily have the uh, ceiling height for a car lift uh, and you need to be able to uh, use you know the, the bay. See, I, I, I like to work in my shop too and a lot of times a car lift like that is just gonna take up way too much space. But that thing, you know, the easy car lift, uh, it will pick up a car. It will uh, raise it about 32 inches off the ground. I believe that's the height of it. Um, and what the goal here is, uh, is to get this guy lifted up where we can work on it. We're gonna get the fenders off today. We're gonna get the grill off. We're gonna get the inner fenders out. We're gonna peel the body as best that we can and loosen all the bolts for the body to the chassis uh, and we're going to get ready to drop that chassis back out from underneath it uh, we're going to pull the body completely off the car or off the frame anyway and we'll put the body on a rolling cart i'm going to make that uh in a couple of days and you'll see that video too um, but i'm going to put the body on a rolling cart and roll it back into the garage and we can do the body work kind of in the cold. It's uh, January. We're about to have some, you know, pretty cold days setting in. But that's going to give us time to come inside and work on that. And then it's going to take the, the frame. We'll park it back out here in the yard and work on that uh, separately. And get our new floor pans put in. We can get our new body, our quarters and all that stuff done. But if you take this whole front clip off, see the car doesn't take up nearly as much room in the shop anyway. Uh, so we want to go ahead and get that thing taken off. We'll get the hood taken off. Uh, as well today, I think. Um, but that's what we're on to today. So uh, I'll set up a camera so you can kind of see. There's an awful lot of bolts that, uh, let me do a different video. All right, so to get these fenders off, we got to go under here. And there's a lot of bolts underneath the fender well uh, that hold the grill on, those kind of places. We got to get in here. There's, uh, there's bolts all along inside, inside this rail here on both sides. Uh, some of these are just screws that sh screw in the sheet metal, but that one right there has a nut on the back side, and so does the one on the, on the driver's side. Uh, all of these screws have got to come out. Uh, these main bolts here, where your shims go, they'll have to come out. Uh, back here on the bottom of the corner, you've got one under here, and then you've got one even on the back side back there. Those will have to come out. A lot of those are going to be... I've already put some lock... Uh, not lock tight, some... Uh, uh, what's my good stuff? My my penetrant, my penetrant, penetrant. I've already put some of that on some of these. We got to get that uh, bumper off. Those bolts are really, really locked on there. May have to be cut off. I'm going to tackle that on a later date. But I think I can get the grill off and the fenders off without dealing with the bumpers today. Uh, but we've got to go around here. I've uh, checked, and most of these I believe are going to come off okay. So it's just a matter of getting it all taken apart, and you shall see.
kids. Now we're about to get a pretty good stack of parts piled up over here. It looks like we've got the fenders off. We've got the grill out. That grill by itself is in pretty good shape. Uh, I've seen them at car shows. A uh, unit like that sell for as much as $1,200 in that condition, uh, believe it or not. Uh, it's got good patina on it, as they say. Um, that's the uh, splash guard there for the front bumper. That piece right there is salvageable. It's about 150 bucks online if you have to get a new one. Uh, so that's pretty good. So we got... Uh -huh. 